Good evening. My name is Jane Ann Ferguson, and welcome to our midweek Vespers here at Plymouth United Church of Christ in Fort Collins. We are an open and affirming and a just peace and a immigrant welcoming community, and it is our privilege to welcome you here this evening to be with us, even though it's distanced virtually and digitally, we are glad to be with you and to bring you some quiet and introspection in the middle of your week. If you have been able to download the bulletin, which I hope you have from our website, um, go to PlymouthUCC.org slash streaming to find it. Uh, then please join me in our unison opening prayer. Companioning one, we come gratefully into your presence this evening, thanking you for all that is good. Thank you for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and one another. Thank you for the, your love, which is unbounded and eternal. Bless our time of prayer and song. Amen. This evening is, as always, our music director, Mark Haskinen, on the piano. Uh, but I want to recognize Lucas Jackson, who is here pinch-hitting at the last minute for our usual cantor, Blair Carpenter. Lucas has been with us more often on Sunday mornings, and we're really glad to have you, Lucas, and thanks for coming in in a pinch. And also with us is um, Bruce Ronda on guitar and banjo, one of our Plymouth members and choir members. We open this evening with a psalm, Psalm 133. And I'll just tell you the refrain that went through my head as I picked the readings for this evening. It's that last phrase we sang, and strangers now are our friends, as well as the phrase, as Christ breaks bread and bids us share. So that second verse really prompted me in the readings I chose. Psalm 133, from Psalms for Praying, which is an interpretation of the Psalms by Nan Merrill. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell in unity. It is like vistas seen from atop a mountain one has climbed. Or like the stillness of a sunset after a long day's work. It is like a shimmering rainbow breaking through a summer rain. When women and men dwell in unity, the star of truth appears.
Yeah.